will be calling you a radical. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little nuclear lies. So never in the history ever of mankind has a fairy tale been fucking this whole imperialist dynamic, the nuclear energy, fake renaissance. It's such fucking bullshit. Headline, Amazon funded three nuke reactors on the Columbia River. No, they're not. No, they're not. Gonna reopen Palisades? No, they're not. Gonna reopen Three Mile Island? No, they're not. Gonna build fucking nuke reactors in Kemmer, Wyoming, Bill Gates with fucking Warren Buffett's fucking John Coltrane Curtis puppets? Utah? No, they're not. Utah gonna get fucking 24 nuke reactors by 2019 fucking from Idaho National Lab, New Scale from Hell, the fuck? No, they're not. This is a fucking tulip bubble. Well, there were tulips. Dot com bubble. Oh, there were dot coms. Nuclear renaissance bubble. There's no SMRs. There's no fairy tale. Easter Bunny. Santa Claus. This is the biggest freak show fucking in history. Pacific Ocean dies. Stock market makes all time fucking highs. There are no SMRs. Hello, there's no such thing. Well, they have that golden ticket. A guy told me new scale. Golden ticket. The only license, the NRC, which is so corrupt, I cannot believe friends of the Air Sierra Club, any of these big institutions didn't sue the fuck out of them. You got Kevin Blanche with fucking zero fucking money. I, I was just thinking about this yesterday. I remember reading Dorothy Day's book about being a true effective activist, uh, whatever. I remember many, many, many years ago, and I remember reading the one part about accepting poverty. And she quoted Jesus over and over and over and over. Not the Bible. Jesus over and over and over and over. About accepting poverty. Being the foot washer. And how she struggled so mightily with it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sweet are the uses of adversity. That'd be Shakespeare. I think about it. I was a self-made millionaire. Stock market, my hawk and trial. One little window, I was not insured. Fucking 2011. I literally had just right around a million dollars worth of Tesla stock and Apple stock in 2011. Visual proof. Play back the tape. I'm doing videos all 2010, 2011 when... Tesla, and Elon Musk sure didn't own fucking Tesla. Went public, everybody was all fucking gung ho, silver, going crazy, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, go all in on Tesla. Go all in. Play back the tape. Play back the tape. Do the math. I went from a millionaire self-made to fucking wiped completely out In a New York fucking nuclear energy bailout status king called Mo Minute. Like that. I was in perfectly good health in 2011. And out of nowhere, the Fukushima fucking train hit me. Boom. This time of year. 13 years ago. I mean, hit me. Out of nowhere, like a freight train. I don't think people understand the fucking true fucking path of an AML leukemia survivor. The true path of a hardcore, these radical, radical cancers path. I, I don't think they have a fucking clue. It goes on and on and on. I forked off every penny I had. You still have all that money in the stock market, Gavin? Yeah. You're going to have to fork it over. All of it, every fucking penny of it. If we're going to get you in. To one of these leukemia. I was going to go to the Mayo Clinic and I was talking to them, you know, you need to bring check, you need to bring blah, blah, blah. Vincent got me into LDSE State, Salt Lake, with Thimble Peters from Denmark, who could be the number one oncologist in the fucking world, at least in the United States of usury. It annihilated me. You try that one. Having all that money, having all that success, having all that strength. Partners, I mean, the whole, that aspect of it alone. Relationships. Yeah. 
I mean, unbelievable. All, I predicted it all. I mean, it's like I could see the future, son Cassandra. To zero, to not, clinging to life, going in and out of a fucking coma, while people are calling on the phone, hey, you haven't paid your mortgage, you know, hey, you know, we're going to repossess this, we're going to repossess that, we're going to take this, we're going to take that. I mean, just stalking me while, while calling me on my phone when I'm going in and out of a coma of a bone marrow transplant. You know. Hey, I, I'm i sorry, but I'm dying of cancer. I'm over chemo. We don't care. Whoa. Uh, un fucking No safety net. None. None. I mean, I got to have gallbladder surgery because the chemo is taking out my gallbladder so much fucking pain everybody still with gallbladder pain knows mike lee kissed me off medicaid so I forked over about a million dollars get in fuck the bill goes fucking north of fucking a million dollars they put me on medicaid temporarily very temporarily mike lee kicked me off while i'm in the unit two days before it's due to have fucking emergency fucking gallbladder surgery uh, and the doctor wouldn't do it and this is the state, Utah, who's supposedly the vulnerable, the weak, who's supposedly, no, they're not. They're phony as fuck. I mean, really fucking phony. Well, the whole country's phony. I mean, it's a selfish fucking plague from hell. The fact that people are game stocking fucking New Scale stock, Sam Altman, fucking Stanford, Sam I am the fucking scam. I mean, he's no different than fucking Bankman Fry. He's no different than Elizabeth Holmes. He doesn't have a fucking license. He has a fucking drawing. So the license at Mexico, how did that come about? Trump. Here's Trump. This is what blows my fucking mind about Trump. So he runs as the counterculture against Obama, and the biggest fucking issue is the Fukushima cover. Everybody fucking, because of Kevin Blanche, is all over it. Fucking, he gets put in. Of course, he's going to fucking end the Fukushima cover up. First thing he does, meet with a B, 17 fucking times. Block out the windows of Merle Woods. Like they're talking about their fucking golf game. What happened to B? Whoa. Now he goes on fucking Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is one. There's, Joe Rogan's like this. I know a little bit about a lot. I know nothing about anything. That phony fucker and his pro-nuclear shit and his fucking Elon, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, fucking that imperialist clique, Jeff Bezos, born at Los Alamos, are milking the beast is what they call it. They call it milking the beast. They've created this dynamic through, they know that nuclear energy because of Price Anderson. Bill Gates is found it. Now, why, Bill Gates is under investigation in the Netherlands. You didn't hear that one on fucking bootlegger fucking mainstream fucking media. It's like MSNBC hammering away that MSNBC fired Phil Donahue, remember? Fired Phil Donahue for what? Calling out fucking the lies of Afghanistan and Iraq. I mean, talk about malice. And then you got the right wing fucking YouTube fucking, well, Joe Rogan. How the fuck is he? And he knows all about Fukushima. So here's Trump on Joe fucking Rogan. Trump, I asked Trump from here to there in 2016 on the fucking campaign trail. From here to there. It made Fox News. I'm screaming at my, you know, my voice booms. Trump, Trump, you're going to fucking end the fucking Fukushima cover up? You're going to talk Fukushima? Yes. So in the interview with Rogan, he, Rogan doesn't bring up Fukushima. Of course not. I mean, he thinks all his fucking wealth. Trump brings it up. Now, remember, Trump was president for four years. I begged him and begged him, say it. Say it, Trump. Say it. Say the F word. Say it. He didn't say it. One. Now, remember, again, this is the president of the United States. Met with a B 17 fucking times. His uncle is John Trump. Look up John Trump. Just Google John Trump. He even brings him up in the Rogan name. The MIT nuclear physicist, <laughs> who Trump in the old interview said he was close with. So in the Rogan interview, uh, we're, we're going on day five, close to 5,000. They 
Roland brings up nuclear energy, which is one of his pet peeves. You know, his best fucking buddy, creepy ass fucking Elon Musk. The imperialist fucking, oh, fuck. So he says, well, nuclear energy is the cleanest nuclear energy there is, blah, blah, blah. Trump cuts him off. No, he says the cost. He says, you know, and then he brings up Vogel. Which he never brought up Vogel one time he was president. You know, the concrete, which... The money, billions of dollars it costs. And he, he talked about how fucking ridiculous, overpriced they are. And Rogan's like, well, you know, the first thing that comes in people's mind when they think about nuclear energy is Chernobyl. Yeah, you think? Trump cuts him off. He says, no, they think Fukushima. He was president for four years. I begged him to fucking say it. I begged him. He's a counterculturist. Trump, who co- I mean, Obama. Obama ever mention it? Yes, Obama on March 17, 2011. He stood on the White House lawn and did a press conference about Fukushima. Yes, the nuclear crippled reactors at Fukushima, Japan. The plume is coming over us right now. Scientists tell us it is safe. No need to take any precautions. Then he's flown out of the country with Jeffrey Mel and crew. South America to get out of the plane. The exact same moment Cheryl Mills, his aide, was sending out emails through the Beltway that got leaked through WikiLeaks. Remember all that? Remember all that? Judges retracting them. One of the emails says the Radioactive plume from Fukushima is coming over. Scientists tell us it is radioactive. Do not go outside. If you have been outside, wash your clothes, take a shower, take precautions, iodine tablets. The exact moment. So that's called with malice in legal secrets. In legal circuits, that's how, you know, that's the way you get the death penalty in fucking murder cases. You have to contemplate. It has to be with mouths. It can't be a crime of passion, just a knee jerk. Now, you tell me that's not in legal service. And where's all the fucking lawyers? You tell me that's not with malice. So, Trump, or excuse me, his twin, Obama goes on and says in the press conference, he says, I will keep you in the know what I know. You have the right to know. Now, remember, this is the guy that was going to save activists, Lily Ledbetter, by the way, who just passed away. Law, he signed. He put an 85 year old nun, Megan Rice, a disciple of Dorothy Day, who was raised by that's how I met Annika in the Nevada Test. I knew Megan Rice very personally. I knew her mother. He, the peaceful protest at Y12. She broke in, had to wave arms, wanted to be arrested, doing her thing. Some blood from a previous activist, wrote a Bible scripture on some concrete. At Y-12, where there's the biggest load, right where the floods went fucking through. TVA on Balco. The Manhattan Project on chemo. Obama puts her in a holding cell. This built to hold for three weeks. Turns down the temperature to 50 degrees. For nearly three years. Now, I went to her jail cell, and when they moved her to Brooklyn, they wouldn't let me talk to her. I sat in the trial... You know, I was with her people. I talked with all her people, you know, very close with them all. I talked to Megan when she got out. It was, I'm the guy that started that petition. That all those signatures. In the trial, this peace activist who gave herself away, I mean, who did everything, she was taught by Dorothy Day. Who raised her. She would call the prosecutor Timothy. I said in that courtroom. They tried to fucking force us out. And you should have seen how the games they played to try to keep us out of the courtroom. By the way, the same day that Seeger, the great peace activist fucking folk singer, died. She gets on the stand. Timothy. Timothy. She's calling the prosecutor Timothy. I would like to thank you 
for putting an 85-year-old nun, a peace activist, in prison, in a holding cell built for three weeks, for three years, and turning down the temperature to 50 degrees and trying to kill me. I want to thank you. For when I get out, I have something else to protest. Human warehousing. Dorothy Day. Protégé. Megan Rice. I'm sitting right there. Mary Evelyn Tucker's holding one hand. The first ordained Roman Catholic priest is on the list on the Kansas City. Well, I helped her write that list the night before at the potluck. And okay, I almost got shot that night. Plowshares saved me that night. I told the head lead nun, it's a hierarchy. Sister Snow, there. Oh my God, it's you, Kevin Blanche. I'm at the potluck. I said, you're probably madder than hell at me. Because Plushers always said that we're okay with nuclear energy. We're just against the bomb. And I'm like, which came first, the chicken or they? They're one and the same. And you know how I've gone off about that. And you guys are probably mad at me. She looked right at me. She says, no, Kevin. I'm not mad at you. I believe you were sent by God. This fairy tale is total fucking, I never seen anything like such bullshit. There are no SMRs. So Bill Gates writes the bill, his foundation. This is how this has got out of control, imperialism. He writes the bill, his foundation. He has a foundation with teams and teams of fucking attorneys. It's the same reason. Why is he buying up all the land? Because he can milk the fucking agricultural bill. There's fucking so much agricultural money in these fucking old, outdated farm bills that he's actually drawing more three, four fucking times pork from the government milking the beast than the price of the land. So Tesla's doing, he stole Tesla. Musk is doing the same thing. He basically hijacked that grotesque beast that it's evolved called fucking Noah, or excuse me, called NASA. He's hijacked it. I mean, the government pork, he's just sucking it out. So how did this evolve? There's a bill that was passed in Congress in the 1950s called Price Anderson. It's called the Immunity Act. What it was put in place to promote nuclearism. Anything promoting nuclearism is supposed to be a temporary bill to, there's no liability for any company, any person, anything that's doing anything to promote nuclearism. They can do whatever they want, and when they crash and they fall down, or fucking there's an accident or whatever, fucking the taxpayer funds it. They all know this. They all know this. They're milking the beast for fucking 80 years. I mean, it's unbelievable, the pork. They know this. Same with Bezos. Here's Bezos.com bubble, who's not profitable for fucking two decades. Bleeding true. Where the fuck did he get all that? Uh, Let's see. He was born at Los Alamos. His mother's who? How old was she? Wasn't the real father's charged with statutory rape? Now, that's debatable who the real father is, but sure isn't fucking Bezos. Oh, the Texas guy? You know, ties into Ted Cruz. I want to see Ted Cruz's fucking birth certificate, by the way. Look it up. Just Google it. Just Google it. He wasn't born in the United States. Fuck. October 27th? You know, the Cuban Missile Crime? His grandfather? Oh, my God. His grandfather's Department of fucking Nuclearism? The original guy? Oh, yeah. Oppenheimer's buddy? Pop, pop, a whoppy drop. They never stop. So, the original license, the Trump administration appointed her to head of the NRC. She was only there for just this little window. So controversial, so radical. She worked at Idaho National Lab. She worked there with the CEO of New Scale. Jose Reyes. Now, I asked Sean Reyes, the attorney general, that corrupt fucker, at the Bear River Massacre. Right there. I asked him. It's online. Now, why would fucking Governor Cox and fucking the attorney general go to the Bear River? I go every year. Fucking for years and years and years. Why would he possibly show up there? Here's Governor Cox. Bootlicker Governor Cox, who told me right to my face. Now, Kevin, I don't even know what an SMR is. Then fucking three months after he wins with 36% of the fucking vote, he gets in bed with Bill Gates and signs a deal with Warren Buffett, who owns Rocky Mountain Power, and John Coltrane Curtis, who's going to be our next fucking senator, who's nothing but a Warren Buffett, Bill Gates puppet, 
to build a nuclear energy reactor in Kemmer, Wyoming, SMR, small factory for Bill Gates. Utah Power Knight owns that fucking plant. I've been up there. They're not building anything. He writes the bill, the Advanced Nuclear Act, that gets through this summer when you're fucking God's gay's guns, God's gay's guns, God's gay's guns, God's gay's guns in fairytale land. These ignorant puppets called politicians, Democrat, Republican, that sponsor it. Oh, fuck. Bernie Sanders goes off on it. No, 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 no. There's no such thing. Pull the plug, blah, blah. And Merkel from Massachusetts, the only two that voted against it. Now, 10 senators abstain, 88 to 2. It passes. Old man, senile Biden signed it. I'm sure he didn't even know what the fuck he was signing. In the bill, it says literally billions and billions of dollars for propaganda to promote nuclearism. Then you have a media that is pay to play. The CIA fucking bass, fucking complete fucking troll. Look who owns all the fucking media. Just Google the fucking board of directors, CNN, Foxconn News, all that. One by Death Stream, two by cable TV. Google them, who they are. The same fucking clan owns them all. It's imperialist. When they fire fucking Dan Rather for calling George W. Bush a draft dodger, when George W. Bush was a draft dodger, there's CBN. I mean, I mean, unreal. So they get the bill through. So the pork flies. Here's Kevin Blanche with no money for I have truth. They have fucking trillions. Talk about David versus Goliath. YouTube? Well, who do you think fucking owns YouTube? I mean, who do you think owns Google? Corporations are people. <laughs> the same class. You think nuclear energy reactors are public? Utility? No, they're not. Who owns them? Round up the usual suspect. Google. Apple. Gates. Bezos. Musk own them. They're not public utilities. Fukushima should have been the end. Well, Chernobyl should have been the end. So Trump brings up, says, well, no, Fukushima. Fucking the ground of Fukushima is uninhabitable for 30,000 years. There's Trump. And then Trump goes off and says, well, no, 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 no. He says, and then he goes back on his nuclear warming. And he talks about my uncle, John Trump. I want you to Google John Trump. Look at the hook between John Trump and Tesla. John Trump was on the opposite side of Tesla, wasn't he? Whoa. MIT. Why would Aaron Schwartz go to MIT, download the fucking server? Hmm? The PhDs are shared there. I knew Aaron Schwartz personally. Why would Barack Obama, who's going to be great to whistleblowers, give him 35 years for a nonviolent crime? Why would he put fucking Megan Rice, an 85-year-old nun, in prison for life? Hey, man, and Ortiz. Why? Well, you know, what does it matter with these sicko fuckers? Barack Obama? who A Nobel Peace Prize? For, he needs to give it back. Trump? Trump? He doesn't say the F word one fucking time. I said the whole time. I'm at the White House the night of the upset. I'm like, here we go. A bee flies in. I took the bus in the middle of the night. I'm in New York. Play back the tape, Your Honor. I was there. So their answer has been to kettle me, attack me, squash me, go after me. Hello, must I say? Block. You're all drunk on troop, Trump Kool Aid. Remember that, 2000? So in the bill, they advanced Price Anderson for another 20 fucking years. Can't you see? These degenerate fuckers are sucking this country dry. Bezos, Gates, Musk. They're destruct. You've seen the fucking debt. The debt is really so fucking out of control. It's unbelievable. When in 1999, fucking the GLP that used to be fiscal responsible and Bill Gates was stole the operating system from here in Utah. That's what kills me. I talked to Governor Cox about this. It was invented here. Here we had a trial here on eleven, eleven, eleven. Where was I? I was in a bone marrow transfer going in and out of a coma. He stole it. He didn't mean. He stole it. Fair and triangle. That's what he does. He sees this pork. This pork is just flying. So we're going to build reactors on the fucking Columbia. No, they're not. Fucking Columbia right, fucking River is fucking being annihilated. Hanford to the fucking east. Fukushima to the west. Go get your fucking razor clams. 
The salmon of fucking epically collapsed. So the Army Corps engineers had to classify me to go after Kevin Blanche? The son of a special force marine? Why full fucking leukemia? Why full? We proved it. All these fucking trolls that were out there, it's dried up all my... I need a car so fucking bad. I've been asking for years for a car. I can't even get a fucking car. All these fucking NGOs out there, these nonprofits, the money, they just flow Greenpeace, Sierra Club, fuck. Where the fuck are they? There are no SMRs. Fairy tale, Easter Bunny said, it's fucking outrageous. What is the matter with the American sheep? Well, they haven't been told. It's been hidden from them. That's what the salmon looked like before. I proved it. Unarguably, scientists mystified baffled salmon. I have absolutely proved it. So here's Trump talking to Rogan, then Trump, no, you know, Fukushima uses the word. Trump, I'm like, whoa. Obama, after he stood on the miles, ever used the word again? Yeah. Right before the Trump election. He's on Jimmy Kimball. Jimmy Kimball, ass. Obama, Obama dumber. Well, did you ever get calls at 4 o'clock in the morning like Hillary Clinton's ads fucking said? Yeah, of course I did. I was president of the United States. I am president of the United States. Do you have any examples? Yeah, when Fukushima happened. Jimmy Kimball. Blah, blah, blah. What's Fukushima? Barack Obama. You know the typhoon. The typhoon. 9.1 fucking earthquake on the Richter fucking scale. The greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. And they're still telling you that one in Chernobyl is more than four at Fukushima, Japan, or really 12. No spent fuel pools here because it was a brand new fucking reactor. 870, 780,000 men entombed, including mining underneath. Why do you think they mined underneath? Our Chinese syndrome is very real. I call it dumb Argentine. You know, one, we're going on close to day 5,000. He calls it a typhoon. <laughs> Trump brings it up now? Rogan's still fucking... Joe Rogan doesn't know anything about nuclear energy. That's the that's what they plan. Nobody really does. Not many. Next time somebody tells you they're pro-nuclear energy, ask them about the centerpiece process. SMRs, they're no fucking different than a bigger fucking reactor. In fact, they're worse. They're hotter, more intense, and they don't work. They've been fucking experimenting on those 80 years. I don't actually have where they're supposed to be happening. Fucking peeling people off the wall. And all these bootlickers go on and think they're on the fucking club. When they don't even exist. Here's New Scale. Ripped us off for a billion dollars in Utah. The old CFO of New Scale come right out and said, Hopkins, and said, well, why'd you ban it? And the stock crashed clear down to fucking $2. You can't just keep beating a dead horse. That's his own words. At some point, you get off it. Where's, I asked Reyes about New Scale. Sean, nothing. I want your other sister. Okay. There are no fucking SMRs. There are no SMRs. So here's Kevin Latch. I have the truth. I have poverty. I fucking, you know, when I was a self-made guy, I always had fucking tons of fucking money. You know, and you're game stocking fucking these. Uh, Alban doesn't even have a fucking license. There's a, He has a drawing on a piece of paper. They're not even experimenting with anything, but you're going to game stock that. Yeah. I've never seen it. I mean, it's like living in the fucking twilight zone. And they slander me. We prove it. That my own, The nuclear industry paid teams of trolls. There were literally, in the day, there were literally dozens and dozens of YouTube sites. Facebook fucking pages. Reddit feeds. I mean, Reddit sure the fuck. I mean, I knew Aaron Swartz personally. I was in the courtroom fucking that day that he died. 35 years for a nonviolent crime. This is the Lily Ledbetter fucking law, Barack Obama. <laughs> I am Michael Hastings. I am Pat fucking Tillman. I mean, fuck. Pay the price to fucking stand up for the fucking truth. All new knowledge will be persecuted. This is new. They'll tell you one at fucking Chernobyl's more than fuck. And the sheep go along. And it's not a coincidence the tide pools wipe out in 20. Oh, it's just wasting this. The starvation well on the fucking grays in the fucking humpbacks. Orcas live in the summertime in the Bering Sea. So do the humpbacks and the grays. Not this year. Yay, it's all over the media. Isn't it wonderful? 
I'm a butcher, what's a cow? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a fisherman, what's a bone? I'm a marine biologist at Caltech at Stanford at fucking San Diego State, at Washington, at Oregon State, at Oregon, fucking at Weber State, fucking what's Fukushima? It's so outrageous. It's so over the fucking top. It's just YouTube. It's just fire the will. Sequestering me, attacking me while I'm in critical condition. The son of a special forces fucking Marine who gave his fucking life, nuked to death in the Nevada test site. Gay fucking attack me viciously while I'm in critical condition. I've had my chest split open. They were going after me and attacking me in the hospital. My heart completely ripped out. I'm gutted from here to here, here to here, to the point my credit is so fucking destroyed because of fucking medical fucking debt. Here's old Biden saying, oh, we're going to fix that. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. They don't do anything. It's Trump. You can talk Fukushima. Yeah, did he? Did he? He waits till now? On uh, Rogan? If he would have fucking opened the book on the Fukushima cover-up, he'd still be president. Wouldn't have went into la-la fucking land wherever the fuck he's at. I mean, here's tomato, tomato. Kamala, Kamala. She's right there on the Senate number hearings. That's me. Senate number never shuts down without Kevin Lynch. Never. I'm the guy that was feeding the California AGs all this fucking corruption. Here's the goods right here. They were cheating on the fucking exchange. They had an accident there. They had a steam malfunction. They had an accident in Santa Barbara, San Clemente. I'm the guy that reported that from my bone marrow transplant center out of the window and the brass is going after me for that. Now they encourage it. I have people still telling me how to survive fucking AML. I have AML leukemia de nouveau with a marker for absolutely unsurvival. That's a 1% survival bracelet. My daughter says, you're not 1%, you're 1% of the 1%. But people are still telling me how to survive. 13 years, what a fucking price I paid. Mike Lee fucking kicks me off Medicaid, How? It, and then tells me to my face, my dad's a down winner. You're not? These people are sick. Sick. What the fuck's the matter with Trump? You were president for four years, all you do, I had to say at one time, the Fukushima cover-up, let's end it. That's it. Why didn't he? He obviously knows about it. He talked about his uncle, John Trump. Look, just Google John Trump. Kamala Harris's mother was the epidemiologist at Livermore Nuclear Lab in the Bay Area. What's that? How many times I protest there? Yeah, that's where she worked. What's an epidemiologist? Oh, it's a cancer research. She, she got cancer in fucking 2009 and died. She wasn't very old. Kamala Harris raided. PV and Cherry's house. The head of the California Public Commission raided his fucking house. When they got all the goods, fucking, they had it disclosed. Fucking, there's a whistleblower law in California. I'm the whistleblower, Kevin Lynch. Michael Gary, the attorney, rolls in and steals all the fuck whistleblower and gets $5 million. I'm the whistleblower and I didn't get anything. She was the AG. Moonbeamer Brown's name was on the list. I, why they in Warsaw, Poland divide enough the goods? I mean, they both have serious connections to the nuclear industry. Both of them. They both know. Will she say it? I guess we'll find out. I don't know. What about Biden and his son, Bo? Weren't they spraying depleted uranium all over their fucking own man in Fallujah? Now, where does depleted uranium came from? You have to have a nuclear energy reactor to have a bomb. This is all about fucking pork and free money. They're fucking sucking this country. They're not building any nuclear reactors on the fucking way. They're not reopening Palisades. They're not fucking reopening Delaware. They're not opening Three Mile Fucking Island. They're not fucking reopening Oyster Creek. They're not. Oh, yeah. Here's the San, San Diego Tribune. Those bootlickers. Fucking. The way coming to Utah. The toilet here. We fund it. Fucking. Well, we're too fucking early shutting down fucking San Onofre. Okay, okay, what you gonna do? Because it's all tore down. I mean, it's gone. It's all in the dry cast, and I'll finish that fucking job. The activist that wins, for they have all the wealth and they have all the money. Can't get a fucking car. Scientists are mystified, they're baffled. This, I've proven it. Dead tide pools, they collapsed in 2012. Fucking the starvation well and the grazing and the fucking humpbacks. Fucking, you got sperm wells off the coast of San Francisco. Fuck, you shouldn't even be there. They should be in the Baja. Fuck, you have fucking orcas going all over eating. Channel 8 News, San Diego, the digital nomad, douchebags, desal water you're drinking, poison water. 
coming from the desal plant. Fucking storms blowing up here, dust storms from hell, toxic. Fucking Tijuana River, fucking toxic smell blowing all over you. And you think you live in paradise. Channel 8. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Look at this. The orcas are swimming with the dolphins. When the orcas are eating the dolphins. The orcas are out of their fucking domain, fuck chasing food all over. They fucking... I mean... They're all out of their domain. This is the greatest sequel to the Great Pacific Genocide, as I named it. I hypothesized all this. This heat source has never happened before. This is the hottest thing fucking bringing star power to Earth. That's the logo at Livermore. Oh, they brought star power to Earth. Thrift. Leslie Stahl at the Lake Barrett on day 2816 on 60 minutes. It took 60 minutes, 2816 days. Tell you, Kevin Lynch told you in the first hour on March 11th. Leslie Stahl at the Lake Barrett. Lake Barrett, who covered up Three Mile Island, who I know fucking. He's the running the show at Fukushima, him and Rahm Emanuel. Leslie saw the Lake Bear. Well, these are really core, full core meltdowns. Yeah, they're full core meltdowns. Well, where are they? See the Pacific Ocean right there? Well, this is like going to the moon to fix this. Leslie Stahl, Lake Bear. Lake Bear to Leslie Stahl. Way bigger than that. This has never happened before. This has never happened before. So this has never happened before. Of course, it's a new energy. Of course, that's fucking a no-brainer. It's never happened before. So of course, it's a new fucking energy. I ain't talk where I think the demic came from. And fucking this heat source is so incredible and so rad. And I prove it. Fucking unit one is a gaping fucking hole. And they're fucking going day 5,000. There's today they're trying to get fucking three grams out of 880 tons. The hole. Where's it at? It's in the Pacific Ocean. Jet stream moves left to right. Breaking news. Throw your rubber ducky in at Fukushima. Fuck it. It will be a fucking gold beach in fucking six days. Just like the bridge was when the tsunami and earthquake happened. Yeah, bridge you drive on. Remember we were picking up cesium 137 in the fucking tuna. In fucking San Diego. In fucking La Jolla. In fucking PB. In 2011. This is before I got cancer. Remember I arguing with the fucking Stony Brook professor. He says, oh, this is great. We're getting cesium 137 in the fucking tuna. Which only comes from a nuclear fucking meltdown byproduct. We'll be able to trace the tuna. We'll know the migration patterns. They're sick. It's not coincidence. Scientists are baffled, mystified, stumped, curious, alarmed, fucking, they're bootlickers. They're fools. What am I going to do? Stay in the fucking, ac- I went to the number one school business in the United States. I was the Bill Russell there. We would say it was the number one in beating fucking Musk and Wharton <coughs> in the 90s, 90s. I was there the whole time. Number one, via the testing. Number one school in the country. Number one. My credentials are so long, and they blackballed me. Oh, what is the C of G? They blackballed me. They went up because they're bootlickers. Why is Utah promoting nuclear? We don't use nuclear energy. We sure store their fucking waste, sending off your waste here. So the trifecta, Rogan, I call it the trifecta of lies. One, the most expensive energy in the history of mankind, to the point of trillions and trillions and trillions being ripped off by Bezos, Gates, Musk, these fucking the economics. We call that fucking opportunity cost. Two. Fucking dirty, filthy, fucking nasty. <laughs> the process. Next time someone tells you to pro nuke or just ask them to explain the uranium 238, which comes natural from the earth. That's not what we use in the nuclear energy reactor. We use uranium 230. How do we get that there? It's called the centerpiece process. It's so grotesque and so nasty. We don't split atoms, we collide atoms in a centerpiece process. They fucking, when they smash together, they fucking burst and create a new energy. Plutonium, oh boy. And all its daughters. Some we don't know. California, Tennessee, fucking, we, we don't know. Humans have evolved for fucking centuries and centuries, 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 and centuries, centuries. We can't handle it. it. In Japan, they call it the atom bomb disease. I have the atom bomb disease. It's filthy. They have to hex gas it to induce it to burn it out. It's the most dirty, filthy, no answer for the fucking waste. Waste stored every nook and fucking cranny, including fucking the floods up the fucking Tennessee Valley. Lastly, one word. Fukushima. When we hit, California's producing 200% more solar than fucking they can use. Being blocked by legislators like John Coltrane fucking Curtis right here in Utah. The fucking Bill Gates bootlicking puppets. They're so fucking stupid they don't even know they're a fucking bootlicking fucking puppet. 
Duke Energy Clean Green. The greatest lie in human history. Third greatest lie in human history. Saddam is saying that weapons of mass destruction. Barack Obama's Nobel Prize. When they full well knew he did. He knew that. NBC, ABC, CBS, fucking all of them went along with this fucking lie. MS, well, left media, right media, fucking imperialist media, which is the same media. They knew it was a lie. They knew it was a lie. He had no weapons. Right? Pop, pop, a loppy drop. Baby never born, mother never pregnant. Everybody backed out of the Manhattan Project. Everybody, including Louis Strauss, who holds the fucking Nobel Prize in Laurel Canyon. Fucking 13 years to the second, to the second. His art imitate man, his man imitate art. Playing Louis Strauss in that fucking masterpiece, Oppenheimer. Two cats in the yard. Life is now so hard. Everything is uneasy because of you. Did she write that in Laurel Canyon? Nash is the only one I've seen show up at an event. He patted me on the leg. They all betrayed us, including Bruce fucking down by the river Oyster Creek Springs. And his wife fighting fucking cancer. Didn't the CEO of YouTube just pass away fucking young and fucking cancer? Don't you see? The great, it doesn't give a fuck about your socioeconomic status and your bootlicking fucking status. What the fuck's the matter with you? You're going along and this fucking media is just pay to play and they're just flooding the media to pump these stocks. It's the greatest pump and dump in fucking human history. Tulip bubble? There were two loops. Dot com bubble? Ask the fucking Bezos. Isn't that shouldn't that be a length on for billionaires, gazillionaires, fucking to own the media? William Randolph Hearst? Oh, didn't he do that? Bezos thinks he's the new one. Dude's a psycho. The dude's a fucking complete freak. All three of them are. They're completely insane. We just keep funneling and fucking empowering these lunatics. It will never be enough. They're degenerate as hell. They're fucking in the back of their sick fucking minds. Destroy fucking everybody and every fucking thing. They're sick. They're sick. Don't you see the top of the fucking heap? These lies. They're not building fucking nuke reactors on the Columbia River. It's a fucking lie to fucking suck money from you. Fucking, it's incredible. They're not fucking reopening Palisades. They're not fucking reopening any of these. And then there's a nuclear energy renaissance. Fucking Germany. Angela Merkel was a nuclear physicist. Oppenheimer himself. If the Germans want this thing, this bomb, this nuclear thing, they will have a first, the best nuclear physicist in the world are Germans. 1938, J. Robert Oppenheimer. That's the only thing I say and agreed with. I say hated the fucker. They had a dolce aid on, I say. The great, great peace activist. The great anti nuclear The greatest anti nuclear activist that ever lived. Albert Einstein. Until Kevin Lynch came around. For fucking, I reached into the bag and I slung the fucking stone. For I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. And they are fucking pure evil. Don't you see this fucking lie? It's the greatest lie in human history. Green? Joe Rogan? Oh, fuck. Trump says it now? Oh, fuck. You've been had and you have no community out there besides. And their answers to kettle me, attack me, while I'm in critical condition, which are felonies in all 50 states. You don't think it's worth? It's fucking destroyed my fucking funding. It's fucking, I mean, they're not fucking attacking me when I'm in an ICU clinging to fu- I, This fucking lost all my teeth, lost my gallbladder. Fuck it, this fucking brutal, brutal cancer fucking fight I've been in. I get a hold of the paper crank. Sudoku's fucking in the Nola gay hangar. Send out an email and nobody even shows up here in Utah or here in the United States. International media everywhere. I'm the guy that orchestrated that. The most accomplished activist in modern fucking history, Kevin Blanch. Well, again, I remember reading her book and how much she struggled. She was beautiful. She was incredible. She was a Bay Area The hardest for me was to accept poverty and to live in poverty Dorothy Day. Oh boy. Fuck, sweetheart, it's it's hard. It's been really, really fucking hard. I don't lie fucking time. My place and time, Zion Simon, is just the fact that I go into Bowman or Crown Spawn at 11, 11, 11. My doctor says it all the time. What a compelling story. It's your story blows my mind, whatever. He says, I can't believe it. And yet, Everybody fears, runs from me because of the slander, which is all bullshit. So, Pacific Ocean dies. Stock market makes all-time highs. They're not fucking, it's all fucking, just looting you. All their fucking money, you know, they're sick. 
The sick. The country is sick. The country is fucking sick. Really fucking sick. Greatest event in human history. You know, one that fucking fought, really fights back. You know, I've talked to every single politician. I'll be talking to more. You know, <laughs> Lily Blake. Fucking, they got control. These imperialists have control. They're looting you. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little nuclear lies. Tell me lies. Hmm. Where are all these celebrities? Where are all these influential fucking people? Yeah, I don't know. Stay in tune.